Hi, Dipti Vichani, Senior Vice President of Automotive and IoT at ARM. There are three concurrent megatrends in the auto industry that are causing disruptions and thus an opportunity for Cadence and ARM partnership. The first trend, electrification. Almost every OEM is announcing ambitious plans to introduce complete range of EVs within just a few years. This is causing massive pressure on the vehicle development resources, and teams need to work faster and leaner. It also gives us opportunities for a level of change to vehicle architecture, which has been unimaginable in a mature vehicle platform. The second megatrend is autonomy and ADAS. We are seeing OEMs compete to get to market first with new self-driving capabilities on premium models. But ADAS opportunity is not just about premium vehicles. We expect that within the next three to four years, we will apply this to the majority of vehicles sold worldwide. ADAS systems need robust functional safety, an area where we, ARM and Cadence, collaborate. And if ADAS is to be applied to all cars, then it needs to be in the right power consumption and the right cost point. The third megatrend is that of digital cockpit. Consumers are expecting new kinds of in-vehicle experience, expectations of being connected, entertained, productive, just about anywhere. These trends also apply to other markets, including autonomous smart robots, industrial automation, automation and AI are revolutionizing our industry. The automotive market is incredibly broad, maybe the most diverse market in its requirements. ARM serves from the very smallest microcontrollers, including deeply embedded sensors like tire pressure sensors, to applied specific MCUs to the centralized compute and automation. Especially important in auto, is the mixed real-time control systems. And our Cortex-R processors are industry-leading and growing in adoption in zonal controllers. There's also a desire to put optimized ARM processors in many high-end applications, spanning from cockpit, ADAS, and new autonomous driving. General purpose compute just won't cut it. They're too wasteful, too high power. There's no space in a car for a server rack with fans nor are these solutions viable from a cost perspective. The kind of compute that'll be required is heterogeneous, functionally safe, power efficient. These will be complex SOCs on advanced nodes. This market is an important area for collaboration between Cadence and ARM. Implementation and safety certifications of these ICs and system requires the kind of tools Cadence offers. Development cycles are long in automotive. Prototyping and cycle improvement will speed time to market. An important complementary IP blocks that we can both offer can work side by side in these chips. We all know that the chip shortage has hit the auto industry hard. OEMs are now paying attention to silicon in a whole new way. They know they have to take more control over their supply chain. We're finding they are more and more willing than ever to engage with semiconductors. We're not just a sub-sub supplier. OEMs want to take more control over their technology. And these recent news articles gives a sense of how a number of leading suppliers are doing things differently. Now they're looking to semiconductor industry. We need to do a great job of serving them with advice, IP, tools, services, solutions, so that they never look away again. While the headlines might be on the semiconductors themselves, we know that software and hardware need to be developed in parallel. In September, ARM launched the SOFIE initiative. With industry partners across OEMs, tier ones, software and OS vendors, CSPs, semiconductor companies, we are creating a cloud native development environment for the software defined vehicle. We are aligning on standards where there's little or no differentiation so that we can scale and then all of us can get to market faster. Together, we can help OEMs deliver a safer, more sustainable, and more enjoyable future of mobility for all of us. At ARM, we're driving the software hardware aspects with Sophie. 
but we lean on our strong partnership with Cadence on the details of the high-performance computer architecture. Specifically, in the areas of other semiconductor IP blocks beyond the core compute, also on performance evaluations and simulations. We also work with Cadence to ensure the safety aspects are considered during development. Cadence is a key partner in our Functional Safety Partnership Program. And it was with great work with Cadence as an early development partner for our new Midas Cadence Safety Solution. It gives us the features and flexibility to implement FMEDA analysis for our IP. No one company can do it alone. It's great to work with Cadence as a key ecosystem partner to enable the automotive industry. I'm looking forward to drive this opportunity into the future with Cadence.